Hi everyone, it's Andy from Andy's Travel Blog and I'm here with you on a very, very special day. But in order for me to tell you why it's so special, first we need to take a brief look at my history with photography. So for me it all started with the Fuji X10 right here. It's a 12 megapixel point and shoot camera, cost me about $470 and I got it in 2012, pretty much right when the blog started. I got it because I wanted something to help me tell better stories with the blog, but I didn't want to carry around a bunch of lenses with me. So really, I didn't know much about photography uh, when I got this camera. I actually went to a good buddy of mine named Braun, and he was a professional photographer, and I said, hey man, I want you to set this thing up with all these dials. I don't want to mess with those. Just set it to where all I have to do is just turn it on like this, and then I can just take a picture with it. And he said, okay, I'll, I'll do that. He said, there's there's a lot of other stuff to learn though about like aperture and ISO and f-stops like do you want me to go over that with you and I'm like no nah, no nah, that stuff probably isn't important anyways right I mean you know if I go to this EXR mode that he put me on then surely my pictures will look like a professional photographer's and you know he loved me enough to say okay whatever you want uh, but you know what I mean I this camera's 12 megapixels and it's kind of outdated now but Man, I took some of my favorite pictures with this camera. Take a look. So up next for me was the Sony A7, which I, I don't have. I have this picture of it because I, I kind of sold it a year ago. So the A7 was my first foray into the prosumer world. And so it's a 24 megapixel mirrorless full frame camera. So it was at this point that I decided to start carrying around some lenses with me. So I love this camera because I really learned a lot from it. And I, I took, again, some some what I think are pretty great images with it, some of my favorites. Uh, but this is where I started to delve more into the world of post-processing, uh, as, as you can see here. Uh, so I learned a lot from the A7. I shot a couple of videos with it, but it was, it was just a great learning camera. But then two years ago today, everything changed with this, the Sony A7R II. Now, the A7R II represented an investment in myself and my photographic career uh, and in the blog itself. So I wanted to be able to take even better pictures and who knows, maybe move into photography more as a career at some point. Maybe not today, but who knows, maybe tomorrow. Now, the A7R II has got a litany of things you can say about it that are superfluous. The number one thing that most people immediately jump to is the sensor size. This is a 42 megapixel sensor with incredible dynamic range and very good high ISO or low light performance. Now, since I've gotten the A7R II, I've, had, I've made more investment. I've gotten what I consider to be a very full lineup of lenses. But even the great thing about all these Sony mirrorless cameras is that you can adapt lenses from other manufacturers. So I've been able to use Canon tilt shift lenses with it as well. So in addition to 42 megapixels, adaptability of the lenses, and some great Sony glass, I also have the ability to shoot 4K video with this thing. So it truly is just a fantastic camera. So this Sony A7R II allowed me to take what I had learned from owning the, the Sony A7 and really take not just photography, but also videography to the next level. Uh, so. I mean, with a 42 megapixel sensor, I've been able to take some unbelievable images. Uh, I'll show you some of my favorites right now. So hopefully you can agree that those are pretty stellar images. And part of that is I've gotten better at taking pictures, but part of that is the technology that's in this tiny little body. I mean, look how small this is. Uh, but it's also helped me take better videos with the ability to shoot 4K videos has been wonderful. It's given me a lot of flexibility to take what I think are decent videos. I'm, I'm getting better at it. Uh, but aside from all that, it's durable. It's, uh, I know it's not weather sealed and that's one of the knocks on it, but I've gotten it wet accidentally. I haven't dropped it yet, but it's held up really, really well. Uh, so I've taken it all over the world with me. I and mean, you've seen it, I've taken it to the Great Wall of China. I've taken it to uh, the Rakatsbrücke Bridge in Germany. I've taken it to Oh gosh, I've taken it everywhere and I'll be taking it to South America in a couple weeks. It's tiny and so it travels incredibly well. So basically I feel like there's nothing I cannot do with this camera. So I've had it for two years today and I just could not be any happier with it than I am. So to Sony I say arigato and thank you 
And uh, I cannot wait to see what you come up with next. So this is Andy from Andy's Travel Blog. Talk to you soon.